At Kaizen, we know it's the science that makes the difference. The right solutions happen when you care enough to ask the right questions. And we understand that your performance is directly related to ours. Science knows why it works, care knows why it's important. Welcome to Mersec here at IPC Apex uh, 2022. Delighted to be joined by Brian D'Amico. Good to see you again, Brian. Uh, pleasure as always, Trevor. Yeah. Okay. So nice to be back in the flesh, of course, and uh, with it, a brand new machine yep. from the Mertec stable. So it is called the Genesis Pin. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the Genesis Pin and uh, essentially what its features are and what it's meant to do. Okay, very good. Well, the Genesis Pin, we developed this for the automotive industry. In the automotive industry, there's a lot of pin connectors that are on like ECU, it's engine control units, and also battery management systems, BMSs. So you've got these pins, some can be very large. So this machine will inspect up to a 50 millimeter tall pin. Mm -hmm. But what ends up happening is because you've got to mate male to female in an assembly, those pins have got to be coplanar, they can't be splayed. There's tolerances to fork pins where you have to have a certain distance between the forks on the pins in order to make sure they mate correctly. But the key thing with this is that you're inspecting something that's going to be up to 50 millimeters tall. So on this particular machine, we've got a 12 megapixel camera. We have hybrid inspection technology, which is a combination of Moire and also Mertec proprietary mix of technology that we use. Combine those so that we get a very good, you'll see the images, image quality is gorgeous for yeah. these pins. And then beyond that, we have a Z-axis that's a movable Z-axis. So it's a, it's a stage that moves the entire camera system and all the lighting. And we can move that up and down in order to focus on the tops of the pins. Because once again, we want to make sure that if we're looking for gap between, say, a fork pin, we want to make sure we're focused properly. And we could do a true inspection of the dimensions. It's got to be dimensionally accurate. There's some high tolerances when it comes to the automotive industry. And being able to mate those two together, if there's any mismatch, Forget it. <laughs> it's going to be a problem, right? Okay. Yeah. Sure. So, so w what accuracy uh, does it measure to? Uh, we're talking about this guy here is a 15 megapixel. Excuse me. It's a uh, 15 megapixel camera on it, and this guy will get down to a 10 micron accuracy. We could also put a 25 megapixel camera on here as well. Get it down to about a six or 7.7 .7 micron accuracy as well. It's pretty resolute. Pretty darn yeah, resolute. That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So the things we're inspecting for is planarity. Uh, presence of a pin or not yep. um, and the distance between them yep exactly exactly and all those like I said they come into play when it looks when you're looking at the ECU units the BMS units all those come into play when you're trying to marry male and female parts together because the bottom line is those pin assemblies when you're trying to put them together if they don't match that's when you're gonna have a problem so yeah what about inspection speed Inspection speed is pretty fast. The only thing is if you're going to be looking at, and you see on some of these assemblies, you'll have different distances of pins or different heights of pins. For that, we'd move the Z stage upward. So if we're talking about a difference between, and there's a range that we could do, right? But if we're trying to inspect, say, 11 millimeter tall pins, and then we want to inspect a 50 millimeter tall pin, we have to move the Z stage. So we'd inspect everything lower lying, and then say we have two or three different types of pins as far as heights go, we'd inspect a certain height, We'd move the stage, inspect again, move the stage again, inspect again. So the way that works is it does cost you a little bit of time. If everything's within a certain range, we could use what's called an enhanced speed mode, in which case it won't be as focused as, you know, perfectly possible. But for those type of applications where we have just kind of a, almost a sweet spot between the pins, we could keep it at one stage and inspect the board much more quickly. But the key is, many customers are talking, the automotive, they're talking about accuracy. So as far as sacrificing some of the speed, that doesn't really matter at all. Right, right. Yeah, you know, they'd rather have the quality issues, uh, you know, the, the accuracy that, that, that comes with it. Yeah. yeah, you're talking about vehicles, right? You don't want to have any escapes. You have escapes, you have people die. So the bottom line is accuracy is something that they're going to they're gonna hold off for and wait for that machine to finish it. And it is very fast, of course. We're talking about, we're talking about such a big difference between it, maybe like three to four seconds more for an assembly versus if you're in high-speed mode. Sometimes that matters, I get it, but accuracy is pretty much key when it comes to doing automotive. Right. Yeah. No, I get it, I get it. Great, so that's the Genesis pin, yep. uh, the latest machine out of the Mertex Sable. Uh, Brian, thank you for showing it to us today and uh, good luck. Thank you very much, Trevor. Pleasure as always, thank you. Okay.